Hello students. Yeah, this class we are just going to draw the epicycloid. It's from B three problem number two. So draw epicycloid of rolling circle forty mm two or is two radius forty mm in diameter. So which rolls outside another circle. That is considered as a base circle. He is one fifty mm diameter. So the coin which is going to roll over another circle. Okay, that is two R for one revolution. Draw the tangent and normal at any point. This is a question. Tangent and normal at any point. So for that, so fix the point of base. So when you make sure that when you are making a point, it's supposed to be greater than uh, the height must be greater than seventy five and one twenty. Obviously, is ninety five over ninety five. Okay, okay, almost this is okay. So I'm choosing the point here. One point. So let it be O. So that this a point is base for the epicycloid. So here, if you are looking here, that is one fifty mm is a diameter of the rolling circle, and sorry, one fifty diameter is a base circle, and forty mm diameter is a rolling circle. So to identify some interior angle. Some interior angle which is required theta that is equal to small r divided by capital R multiplying by three sixty. I will say why I am I am doing this. So here twenty is rolling circle, seventy five is a base circle multiplying by three sixty will gives you the included angle of base circle. Twenty by seventy-five into three sixty. So obviously it is ninety-six. So the angle which you need to get before doing the problem is ninety-six. So let me fix one baseline. It's, it's supposed to be this side is almost to forty-five something like that. We need to make so for a rough sketch. I'm making since it is a ninety, so this side almost forty, forty, five, forty-eight may come. Okay, let me choose between forty-eight something. So here I'm uh, making a one edge. Let it be. Let us go. Let us go. Let it go. Similarly, from here. It's supposed to be ninety-six degree. This is ninety. Here it may be ninety-six. Almost it is okay. So angle you see this included angle. It is ninety-six. I didn't mention that center. Center is for reference only. I know. Okay, this included angle is ninety six to draw a base circle. So the distance of base circle is seventy five mm. This is more simple. So let me draw. A base circle which is for seventy five.
to make the dimensions properly and after that there is one more circle we need to draw that is a rolling circle its diameter is 20 mm sorry 40 mm and the radius is 20 mm okay i am fixing that center okay so this is now it's a rolling circle this is a base circle so base this is rolling you need to say rolling circle base circle so this angle is from like this so small r is the rolling circle radius capital r is the base circle radius 20 divided by 75 and into multiplying by 360 will gives you the interior angle so interior angle so so what we did earlier at the same is just going to do so this is the center we need to divide in a each 30 degree so this case If the circle is like this I'm taking a point and I could di directly draw okay it's not an issue I'm keeping again this as a center So the center line which we have drawn previously the same we just going to draw see the space is not sufficient let it be see it is going in the line just imagine okay okay so like that the top line and base line we just finish it I'll mark in that okay let it be you should not make these kind of mistakes so that uh, even though i have marked uh, i just made the mistake only i have measured only some 95 but it's more than that since here it may 95 comes so this i have not uh, decided so hence it goes like this okay it is not an issue so if i am keeping here so the 30 maybe i could mark here the 60 maybe here if I am extending it if I am extending it so we just need only four numbers of points so that we could able to identify easily it is not an issue okay so let it be so now we just going to draw again similar lines Usually, the seven numbers of line will be there, including the base line. These are all the division, which is 30 degree. I just made it exactly. Okay. You ignore my small errors. yeah that's it so this is the top line this is the center line so let it be c center line here after we just going to divide so now we, previously we have divided the uh, baseline in a 12 parts similarly we just going to divide the angle 90 de 96 degree in a 12 division so 96 divided by 12 almost 8 
so fix the protector okay you have to come clear carefully you just don't ignore the center line i have not fixed properly so first one is eight okay let me turn each division for eight again from here eight This is thing and all up to you. You have to make it 8, 8, 8 equally. It's very important for the problem. So total division comfortably you can make with an 8 division but even though there will be a minor accuracy you will miss something you may miss accuracy okay so let me check the numbers of uh, division so let it be 1, 2, I think let us put dash, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3, okay, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, fine. So now we can connect this line towards the center as we did in the cycloid, towards the center is supposed to draw a line. okay so let us name here 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 dash okay uh, and obviously here c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 c8 c9 c10 c11 c12 obviously the same procedure which we have uh, followed for a uh, um, cycloid that's that just we just going to follow the same okay uh, here the point uh, tracing points are from p1 to p12 okay i'm just making and measuring the distance which is center to the edge that is the radius of the rolling circle i am keeping if i am keeping in c the same touch if the the rolling is supposed to be start from here so if i am keeping c1 i am cutting the first line okay if i am keeping c2 as a center i am intersecting the second line if I am keeping C3 as a center, I am intersecting third line. I am keeping C4 as a center, I am intersecting fourth. C5 as a center, 
fifth C6 as a center here and C7 as a center again descend C8 as a center this one C9 as a center this one C10 as a center and this one these are all P10 exactly this one so now I could write this is P1 P2 P3 P4 P5 P6 P7 in the letter P8 P9 P10 P11 or last P12 so if you are connecting by a smooth curve you will get a cycloid you should not disturb with the points you have to narrate the correct path sometimes there is a lot of points c1 c2 are there there you forgotenly intersecting in the sense the curve will get collapse okay so you make a harder line ok that's it now the last part is to draw the tangent and normal anywhere in the uh, in the curve so let me make a normal line which is slides with the 7 to 8 one line one normal line that we don't know so let it be normal line let us mark as specified in the book yes can connect up to O okay so here there is a tangent T T that's it so this point is 90 that is M something like that you can see so here you see it is between 7 to 8 P 7 to P 8 the normal line was passed here you see 7 dash to 8 dash it's meet here at S point. So you can say it's a mid, mid of 7 to 8. Similarly, it's match 7 to 8 and it's meets between 7 to 8. Okay, that's it. Thank you.